Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of Tim Tebow's Road of the Show here on MLB The Show 17. And as you can tell today, I actually have some headphones on because I actually want to hear what's going on in the game. Previously, I just had my TV on mute and like cannot hear anything, but now I can actually hear what is going on in the show, so that should be pretty freaking awesome for me. Now, we are jumping into today's episode. I do want to say I created an offline road of the show just to play by myself, not recording anything, and I'm playing awful in that. It's the same exact settings, but compared to Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow is completely outshining that player. And you think, like, since I'm able to concentrate not commentating at the same time, I'd be able to play better in that road of the show. But maybe it's just Tim Tebow, man. Maybe he is actually the GOAT. And hopefully I've not just jinxed myself, and hopefully we still play well in today's episode. And we do start off today's episode with a double boost in terms of our points for the first game that we do play. So hopefully you play a pretty good game and get a lot of points to use for upgrades for Tim Tebow. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's episode. And if you do, make sure to drop a like. If you hit a thousand likes on today's episode, I'll come out with the very next episode of this series tomorrow. So be sure to get this video to 1,000 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump into our first game of the episode. Oh yeah, very important. I got a shin guard to use. And we'll just go, we'll go with this one. Tebow batting 481 with 6 home runs and 14 RBIs. Absolutely tearing up double A. And starting off this game, we have runners at first and second in the bottom of the first inning. We're batting cleanup in this one. Come on, Tebow. Continue your greatness. First pitch is going to be outside for a ball. Pitch number two is going to be an off-speed pitch, and I'm going to be way out in front. Man, it's so different than having this a freaking beginner and having fastballs right in the middle every single time. But we're still playing well, although it's not on beginner anymore. It's on dynamic now. Curveball. It's going to be blooped into left field, and that is going to be an RBI double for Tim Tebow, as long as I don't get thrown out. Well, the runner at third got thrown out, but that's going to be an RBI regardless with the double as we get, did that say, 26 to 36 points to start off this game. Definitely not a bad start for Tim Tebow as he continues being clutch for the Trenton Thunder. Runners on the corners. First pitch is going to be a curveball, foul it off. But here's another chance to get another RBI in the bottom of the third and to get our second of the game. Huge opportunity to get some more insurance runs on the board. Next pitch, going to be inside for a ball 97 mile per hour. So this pitcher for the Fisher Cats is throwing some freaking gas. We're about to make him pay when we hit this one out of the park here in a second. Least in play to get the RBI. This is going to be an off-speed pitch. Pulled foul way out in front. There's a change up. Uh, the one thing we can't do is strike out. I'm about to bunt to get an RBI. That's what I'm about to do. Next pitch right down the middle. Oh, not going to be deep enough for the tag. Or is it? No, it's not going to be. God dang. Still giving us some good opportunities. Runners on first and second. Up 4 nothing. Bottom of the fourth inning. Got to be clutch right here. The pitch right down the middle. And I was late. I'm still a little bit late, man. Ever since last episode, I've just been swinging pretty freaking late. That was a very good pitch, too, to hit out into the field. Have a chance to get our second RBI of the game, but was just late on it. Next pitch. Inside. 2-2 oh, two, two count for Tebow. Pitch right down the middle. It's going to be grounded to the second baseman as we get nothing done there. Bottom of the seventh. Give me something that I can drop. Right down the middle. That's going to be a bomb. That's going to be Tebow's. Seventh home run of the season, an absolute mammoth freaking shot. 39 points for the no doubt home run. Why couldn't we have done that with men on base? But I want to see how far that was. That was an absolute bomb. The off speed pitch hung over the plate, and Tim Tebow made no joke of that. It was a freaking joke of the pitch. It was only 387 foot. There's no way. So we do get the dub, and Tebow is actually the player of the game. Gets 95 trainer points. Day game this time for Tebow and the Trenton Thunder. First pitch of this game. This one's lined into left center field. It's going to get over the head of this center fielder. This could be, this is going to be an easy stand-up triple for Tim Tebow as we get our first RBI of this one. One, one count for Tebow. in the pitch right down the middle. This one's going to be blooped into left field, and nothing's happening. It's actually a lot deeper than I thought. Another chance with the runner in scoring position. We're only up by one, so this would be an important run. First pitch of the at-bat. It's going to be low. It's a little dribbler. We advance the runner to the third. We get thrown out at first. Bottom of the eighth, boys. Still up by one. Runner on first base. Let's see if we can somehow drive him in with an extra base hit. A run here would be huge. Next pitch. It's going to be a curveball. That's going to be lined into left field. The runner might be able to advance to third. And he is. So we send the runner from first to third. Good hit there from Tebow as we have another two-hit game. Got to remember at the end of last episode, we got our we had our first game where we didn't get a hit, so the hitting streak was ended right there. But hey, 
starting a new one in today's episode. We get our second straight dub of the episode. Things continue to roll. We look like one of the best double-A teams out there. Hopefully we can continue the streak. So it's time for our second series against our double-A rivals, the Portland Sea Dogs, who are the double-A affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. Remember, we are in the New York Yankees organization, so this is a rivalry game. They beat us a couple times earlier in the year. It's time to repay them the favor and sweep them this time. Last time we played in the rain, Tim Tebow had a pretty good freaking game. This first pitch is going to be... Spoke too soon. Still a scoreless game at the top of the four. He's got a runner in scoring position with two outs. Let's see if Tim Tebow can be clutch, as he 99% of the time always is. First pitch, man, I swung too late. That was a beautiful pitch to drive opposite field to give us the lead. But I gotta be trash, man. God dang. Let's try this again. A one count. Curveball. That might have been a ball. That might have been a little bit too low. Tim Tebow had to go to his knees. Uh, it could have been potentially called a strike, but probably should have laid off of it. 0-2 count, though. Gotta be clutch, man. Come on, Tebow. He gets hit. Or did he? Pass ball. Runner gets to third base. 2 count. Low ball. It's going to be hit right the god dang shortstop. 0-2 count, man. Have another chance to give us the lead here. Top of the six. Two outs. Runners on first and second base. Come on, Tebow. The pitch is high. That's going to be a catch. Man. So I've definitely been given the opportunities in this game. Runner on second base. It's still a nothing nothing ball game. Top of the ninth. First pitch is going to be hit way too high, man. That might be it. That might be the hitting streak done once again. Not going to get past three games. I've had four at-bats with four runners in scoring position, and I just am trash. We get another at-bat, though. Another chance, man. i got to make one of these count. Top of the 11. I think this is really his fifth at-bat of the game with runners in scoring position. Come on, Tebow. First pitch. It's going to be Bluke into left field. Stay fair. Stay fair. Stay fair. And it does, baby. Let's go. Let's go back to first base, and that is going to bring in the game-leading run. Our second loop hit in the episode to the opposite field but that is our biggest RBI of the series so far it wasn't pretty but we got it done and most important well not necessarily most importantly but also important that keeps our hitting streak going kind of cheating since it's an extra innings but hey a hit's a hit hey man we get our third straight win of the episode as our bloop opposite field hit in the top of the 11th proved to be enough to get us the dub. We definitely screwed up our opportunities early on in the game, but all that matters is we came up in the clutch at the end. And at this point in the season, Tim Tebow is leading the league in average by a pretty good margin with still a 462 average. And the second best has a 375 average. Already have a little bit of a deficit, already down 2 nothing in the top of the second, but Tim Tebow has something to say about that. 1-0 count. Pitch is going to be low once again. I don't think I've walked in this series so far. I'm a little bit too aggressive, but if I get a pitch right in the middle, you best believe I'm going to be swinging for the fences. And the pitch was right in the middle, and I didn't even swing. I don't want to walk, because that's boring. 3-1 count, though. I'm expecting something right in the middle. I'm going to power swing. I've yet to power swing in this series so far. The pitch is going to be outside. He's not giving me anything to hit. I think we're going, boys. We're going to attempt a stolen base. Let's get a good jump. He's going back. Oh, God, don't throw me out. Oh, God, I got picked off. Huh? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Somebody get this man. <laughs> Somebody. Ah! You gonna do it again? What is this first baseman doing? This is the biggest idiot in the history of baseball. Can I just keep on getting a big lead until he just... I, I don't know. Okay, I got a bad jump there, but I think I'm still going to get there in time. And we just do. Thank God. Because of that idiotic first baseman. Probably the most idiotic professional baseball player I've ever seen in my life. He goes behind the count, man. 0-2. The pitch right down the middle. That's going to be a hit. And the second baseman's an idiot. And we're going to be safe, baby. That's going to be considered a base hit somehow. So we're hitting streak does continue that was freaking crazy I'm down three to nothing in the top of the seventh like I said I want to try to win every game in today's episode but it's not looking good so far we need to start a rally first pitch it's gonna be that's not how you start a rally well boys we have our first chance to be the last down of a ball game and that's not necessarily a record that I want to break for me personally that is well, one count it's gonna be an off speed pitch and I'm out in front once again because I am stupid please don't strike out Pitch. It's going to be a curveball. It's going to be blooped into right field. Actually, no, it's not. It's going to be effing caught. And we lose. 
God dang. So here we go, fellas. The rubber match of the series against our rival. It's going to be the last game of today's episode. I believe the fifth game. We're already up 2-0, to top of the first inning. First pitch of this one, I'm going to swing because I always swing because I'm trash at this game. I am not going to be able to deal with this guy's windup because it takes about 15 minutes. Just watch this guy. He pauses right here. Throws off my timing, man. This pitch is going to be driven into left field. Oh, wow. One, one. Pitch is going to be inside. What's up with me getting jammed in this game? That's going to be a base hit. I mean, I guess I'm the infield hit king. It's like our it's like our fourth bloop hit of the episode. We've had like four bloopers. I think we had four bloopers. One ball absolutely smashed in the center field that didn't go out. And then the whole run that was absolutely smashed. So, I don't know what the deal is. But, I mean, I guess hits are hits. 0-2 count, top of the fifth. We've only struck out one time in this series so far. We are not going to make it two. Pitch, give me a curveball. I'll take that over a goddamn strikeout. Next pitch. This ball is going to be hit in the center field. And you know what? This is going to be another pop out. Looks like we're going to get one more at bat in this one. It's once again with two outs in the ninth, but thank God we're actually winning this game, so it won't be the last out twice in a row. That would be some trash. First pitch of the at bat right down the middle. What an awful hit. That was right down the cop. But there we go. We didn't have the greatest of games in today's episode. We got one home run and a couple big hits. But in the grand scheme of things, all that matters is we got four wins out of five games, which is pretty freaking successful. And now let's go add some trainer points to Tim Tebow so hopefully he plays better in next episode. So to end off today's episode, we have 296 available points. And with the boost right now, we're up to a 65 overall. So we got to see what we get ourselves up to at the end of these upgrades. So I'm going to add a couple to contact. Let's go up to 35 in contact. That almost takes away all of our training points already. So next, we up our plate vision. We can't up our plate vision a couple times, actually, up to 41. And I think we're going to keep it at that. Yeah, I know that we haven't really added anything to fielding. But as of right now, honest to God, don't really care about fielding stats or fielding ratings until I get to the majors. Because this is making things go by so much faster dh -ing. So I'm not too worried about that. Maybe slowly but surely I'll start upgrading everything. But as of right now, I'm completely fine using most of our upgrades when it comes to hitting. And applying these 284 points will bring us up to a 57 overall. So plus 9 brings us up to a 66 overall already in this series. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode of Tim Tebow's Road to the Show. And if you did, make sure to smash the like button. Like I said, 1,000 likes in the next episode will come out tomorrow. But with that said, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.